Hey, what's up guys? It's Martin. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. Today we're going to be talking about a topic I'm really excited about and something I get asked about almost every day, and that's analog processing versus digital processing. Can you really hear a difference? Let's find out. All right, so right here I have two different masters. One of them I did entirely in the box, and on the other one I ran through an SSL XL, um, also through an SSL compressor, a G-Series bus comp, as well as an Alatia X-Filter 500, just to really get the most out of an analog processing. So we're gonna listen. Um, I've mastered these both exactly to negative 14 LUFs, so that we have you know, the same um, loudness, so we can hear exactly the differences and maintain the same mastering level. So let's go ahead and play the loudest part of our song in the digital file. Now let's listen to our analog. Okay, again, digital. Analog. So right away, um, I can definitely hear more clear, more crisp, high end some more punchy and sub um, on the low end. It's just overall really gluing together. If we listen to the digital one, you can hear a lot of like fog, I like to call it, or just like clutter, low end clutter boominess. And when we switch over to the analog, we get some true clean sound. And you can even see that on my metering here. So if you guys take a look at the digital waveform uh, metering. We switch over to analog. I mean, visually, you can see all these highs and mids come to life. Um, you can really see it instead of just hear it using that metering system, and it's really quite amazing to be able to see what you're hearing. Um, so, that being said, you know, you can definitely hear a difference when it comes to analog and digital processing. This is why it's so important that if you have access to analog, any kind of outboard gear, you want to run your mix through that. Because if you run it through um, digital, you're just going to get a lot of fog and, and you're not really going to stand out musically or sonically among some of your favorite artists. So that's about the gist of it. I just wanted you to take a listen and hear for yourself the difference between analog and digital. Um, and that closes this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the studio and, and watching this video. Press like or subscribe if this has helped you in any way. And I promise I will do my best to make some more videos for you guys. Thank you.